Let's take a look at ad groups versus campaigns in Google Ads. Now, this can be a little bit confusing if you're not real familiar with how this stuff works, but there's different ways to segment your ads in Google Ads. And it starts by the campaign level, which at the campaign level, there's going to be some different things we can control. So we have this campaign right here, Phoenix Closets. If we click on these settings right here, then we're going to see some different things like the target location. So right now we're targeting 40 miles around Phoenix, Arizona. We also have our budget. So that's set at the campaign level. Same with our bidding. So we're using maximize conversions as the bid strategy. And these are kind of like the overarching settings for the entire campaign, meaning that any ads in this campaign will be showing in Phoenix, Arizona, will be you know running at ten dollars a day for the budget and running on the maximize clicks or maximize conversions bid strategy so a, a campaign is really like the highest level if you want to think of it like tiers everything like an ad group ads keywords are going to come underneath your campaign and there's this convenient little uh, breakdown here that kind of give you a better sense so you have your google ads account and in your Google Ads account, you might have campaign one and campaign two. And then underneath each campaign, you'll have an ad group, at least one ad group, but it's best to have multiple ad groups. And really what an ad group is gonna allow you to do is bun bundle together different keywords with different ads so that things can be highly congruent. What I mean by that is, in this example, we're talking about Phoenix Closets right and we're at the campaigns so from campaigns here there's this drop down and we're looking at the campaign so this is our main campaign for phoenix closets but under the umbrella of phoenix closets there's some different types of services that are offered so we've got just phoenix closets we have custom closets and we have closet installation now this is a dynamic campaign so it's just going to kind of dynamically do whatever Google Ads thinks is best. But if we're just looking at these three ad groups right here, what it's allowed us to do is refine things down so that we can keep the keywords congruent with the ads and the landing pages that we're sending people to. So if we click on one of these ad groups, Right now, I have selected the Phoenix Closets ad group right here. We can see all the different keywords for this ad group, where we're talking about Phoenix Closets, etc. This one isn't quite as congruent as it probably should be because it has closet installations in this, you know, more general ad group. But like if you come over to custom closets, then in this ad group, we're just advertising Phoenix Custom Closets, this one keyword. And then if we were to come over here to the ads for this ad group, we're talking about custom closets in Phoenix, you know, how we do Phoenix Custom Closets. And so when somebody does a search for the keyword in this ad group, Phoenix Custom Closets, they're just going to see this ad that talks about how we offer custom closets in Phoenix, Arizona. And that's really the strength of an ad group is being able to categorize things in different topics. So we could have our custom closets ad group, which has keywords that talk about custom closets and ads that talk about custom closets. So that when somebody sees our ad, they feel like they're finding what they're looking for, which ultimately improves user experience, generates more business, gives you a lower cost per com uh, cost per click and cost per conversion and everything. So we'd have our custom closets ad group and then like our closet installation ad group, which is gonna have closet installation keywords and ads that talk about closet installation. By doing it in this way, you know, we're, we're going to be improving the overall user experience, which is something that Google really cares about. It wants people to have a good experience with the ads Otherwise, they would stop clicking on the ads and, you know, they would lose out on a lot of opportunities to make money and sell ad space and all that. 
So what we see oftentimes is people will set up one campaign and then they'll have one ad group like you know Phoenix closets and then in that ad group this is probably a better way to show this they'll just put everything in one ad group with a whole bunch of different ads and then things are kind of mixed up so if somebody searches for closet installation they might see an ad that doesn't even mention installation in the ad in that case it's probably not going to perform quite as well so that's kind of the difference between an ad group and a campaign in Google Ads. I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.